you been doing this for? Uh, I've been doing it for, for over 30 years now. Uh, my father was uh, was a plant manager mm -hmm. at, a, at a frozen vegetable company uh, when I was 16, mm -hmm. so I, I worked there seasonally yeah. uh, for the first uh, first few years. Uh, I went to uh, a company called Strathroy mm -hmm. Foods during their second year. Uh, went on to uh, Family Tradition Foods after that for 16 yep. and a half years, and uh, with the consolidation of the market, myself and and a few others were left uh, looking for work. And uh, I was lucky enough to find some people that believed in. In, in me and what we were looking to do, and uh, so Food Delicious was formed uh, four years ago this month, actually. Nice, nice. Jen's responsibilities are to um, make sure that when trucks arrive with uh, to, for pickup or deliveries, she takes uh, truck temperatures to make sure the temperatures are, are proper, and then we have, again, no thermal transfer. Uh, she does quality control, so she takes samples of, of all the products that we get delivered to us. So pretty much Jen is like the go-to person. Jen's the go-to person as far as the shipping and receiving goes. Yeah. You've been in the business for 30 years, so have you seen many different studies come and go on the benefits of frozen food, on the not benefits of frozen food, but truly, the nutrients do get locked in. Absolutely. There's uh, a lot of studies early on, um, you know, the, the myth was that, that fresh was much better than frozen. Um, the, more, the more the recent studies, you know, claim to be different than that, and, and I mean, there's, you know, there's varying degrees of that, but the, the main difference between the fresh and the frozen is that the frozen product that you buy is processed, again, literally within hours mm -hmm. of the time that it's getting harvested from the fields. When it's blanched, I mean, the flavor and, and the nutrients are locked in versus a product that's traveling for, for literally days before mm -hmm. it hits the supermarket shelves. And when you're blanching it, it's no different than when we're blanching it for the restaurants with the fresh vegetable anyways. So it's like a minute and a half cook time and it's in a frozen bag. Yeah, it's usually a steam blanch or a water blanch. Mm -hmm. And again, that locks in, typically locks in the flavor, locks in the color, locks in the texture mm -hmm. of the product. And it also, I mean, it's also a, a, a kill step to get rid of any enzymes, E. coli's and that, that you don't have with a fresh product. Exactly.